Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making Pokemons, and I'm here with my roommate B. Hello. I'm the resident Pokemon expert that's not really an expert, but was obsessed with Pokemon as a child and can name random facts. Yeah, so um, I decided to make Blep, my little hole puncher, into a uh, Pokemon. Let me pause for a moment and explain. Blep is a hole puncher that I recently purchased for the channel. I have a goal to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah, I know. But to help build a community and have y'all participate in creating something with me, for every one subscriber, Blep will make a dot. He's done a pretty good job so far. And with these dots, I'll be creating the channel mascot, our little ghost boy. This is taking a lot of planning and I'm having to do a lot of math for this. <laughs> Currently, we're at 118 subscribers at the time of posting and the last time I checked. So if you want to be a part of this community and help me reach my goal, then hit that subscribe button and Blep will make you your very own dot on the ghost. Now back to the video. I decided to make Blep, my little hole puncher, into a uh, Pokemon. So I did three different evolutions because I actually, fun fact, started drawing Pokemon and that's how I got into art. I had a Pokemon book and I would trace over <laughs> the drawings. I actually think I have one too. I think it's in that bin right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that there's, everyone kind of starts with like drawing Pokemon or knowing Pokemon. I grew up with playing the games. You grew up with the card games. Yeah, though. I grew up with the card game. I grew up with the, uh, like the DS versions of the games. Yeah, I did not have a DS. Yeah. I was too poor. <laughs> <laughs> I was too poor to afford was, anything. It's true. Um, we played yeah. with dirt when I was a child. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really love your first evolution. It's so cute. I know. I so, love that you made it more like a frog. It reminds me of um, Low Toad. Low Toad? Yeah. Do you know, know what that Pokemon is? I don't think I do. I designed it off of... I think it was the, it was the other Toad one. I don't remember which... This guy. Oh, that was yeah. not the one I did. Yeah, I, but that's what it looks like. Like, you see it, right? Yeah, I do. Especially in that image. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I should have referenced that one yeah. instead of the one I actually did. I referenced, like, the I, other frog Pokemon. Yeah. That one's a good Pokemon, too. Yeah. Lotoad wasn't really one of my favorites, though. I just... he. I saw your first evolution drawing, and I was like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's the top part, because I wanted to keep that, like, tongue thing on the top. Yeah. I love the tongue thing on the top. I it think that's cool. what makes Blep look like a Pokemon, which yeah. is why I asked you to do it like that. <laughs> that's true. That's that's how we came up with the video, because we were like, this is very odd looking. And I saw it as a frog first, and I drew eyes on him. And you were like, he looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, he looks like, he does look like a Pokemon. Aww. Yeah, look at all your little sketches. Yeah, I actually sketched them on paper first, because I've never, like, drawn Pokemons before. Or, I, well, in a long time, like, on my own. So You never was, designed a Yeah, I never designed before. one. You should design more. Maybe. Maybe that'll be a challenge. It should be a series. <laughs> Another series? Another series <laughs> for you to start. I think I have, like, three now. Yes. I've talked a lot about the first evolution, but now you're back to doing it, so I'm going to continue to talk about it. Yeah. But, like, I love his little, like, head stamp thing. I know that that's what Blep looks like, mm -hmm. but I think it's a really cute, like... Pokemon characteristic yeah. to have some weird head thing, like mm -hmm. not to just be a frog. Yeah. I think this the first rendition of him is probably the best one. Mm -hmm. one's like, I like the first one and the third one. You like one the one best. where, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because when I was thinking of him, I didn't really know what, because I don't know much about Pokemon, and you were like telling me the different types. Like, I think when we first started talking about it, we were thinking of designing him after like fairy, po like fairy type yeah. or something. Yeah. Fairy type was one of the newer additions, though. I didn't. Yeah. The games that I played were mostly um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and then I think whatever game came after that, which I think was Black and White, came out after that. But after, like, in the future, <laughs> they came out with Fairy Pokemon. I was like, ah, cool, Fairy Pokemon, and then I never really played those games. <laughs> so. Yeah, and then I was picking colors. Get that color palette. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Actually, having used colors for ones was kind of difficult. <laughs> it was cute though. Look at him, he's a little frog. The first one was easiest to color since it was basically just blip. What so. did you decide his typing was? Grass? Yeah, it was grass. Grass type. And then I he's made so him a cute. fighter because yeah. he's a hole puncher. He is so a hole puncher. Punches. And that makes sense. I actually <laughs> agree. Once you brought that up, I was like, I see. Yeah. I agree. So that was the one thing I I was like, yeah, get it. He's a puncher. He's a puncher. <laughs> he, he's, he's a fighting type. 
Yeah, I, I was designing it like in class, and I just I texted you, and I was like, "What's a what's a punching Pokemon?" <laughs> I think I said Machop, which is yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first Pokemon that came to my mind. I was yeah. like, yeah, you know, the one that's like a pow. It also grows into like, it evolves to have like six arms yeah. or something. And it's just like, Ugh. I designed the sixth one, or not the sixth one, sorry, the third one. Yeah, the third the evolution. The last evolution is after him because yeah. he has the same arm. I kind of like the middle evolution too. It's not my favorite, but I think it's really cute. It reminds me of, um, what's the Pokemon's name? Hitmon, Hitmonchan, I think. Hit, hit, on. Hitmonchan. I, the second one? This guy. Oh, that was another one I looked at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I designed him. I think it's him. the similar pose. Yeah. I think that's why. I, yeah, because he was the one that I looked, that was the other one when I looked up punching Pokemon <laughs> was that one. But I designed him after, um, what was it? It's like Scrappy or Scraggy or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That, because that was the first one I had looked at when I was trying to figure out like what he would look an like. interesting little pokemon yeah because i want him to look like i want him to have that dumb face is what i wanted <laughs> the dumb face but like Scrag scraggy's evolution is like really similar to each other mm -hmm. which is i think what i did for the first one like they all kind of look the same mm -hmm. and then you're like make it different make so it i did different. well that's they did all look you like designed it i was like that is the same yeah i was like it's the same that pokemon, one just, grew just buffer. Up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. it's like an avocado shape on the yeah yeah. I love his little, like, eyes and nose. It's very, it's very Pokemon, but also is what Blep looks yeah, like. Yeah, because the way I drew them the on, I drew, just kept yeah. it the same. That's just, like, a line with filled in, like, mm. eyes. I think at this point in time, in the mid-stage evolution, I think that Blep's still just a grass type, because I think you become, like, a full fighting type at your third evolution. I don't remember. Oh. Because I, the way that typing works is weird. And I don't fully understand it because I am only semi a Pokemon expert. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that, you know, like, as, as baby, baby is just grass type, right? And then by the mid-evolution, uh -huh. er, the third evolution, I think. They're full on fighter. They're full. Well, they're, they're, they're full grass and fighter, you know, oh, so I they see. get both types. But yeah. I think that they get it at their final evolution, not their, like, mid-evolution. But you can mm. see it coming in here, you know. Blup's coming into <laughs> pow pow. Did you come up with different names for them? Because you know I didn't actually. It was just Blep all the way. I know that they do have different yeah, names for evolution, names. but I didn't think of any. They're usually similar though. You like Blep and Blat. <laughs> Blep, Blat, and then Bop. <laughs> Blep, Blat, and then Bop. I agree. <laughs> Oh, I love his little, like, shoulder pads he's got going. Yeah, the gloves were the hardest thing for so both the second evolution and the f and the third one because, um, like, I changed the color palette a little bit. Like, well, not changed it, but I had to put them in different places. Mm -hmm. So I think the third one was the one I struggled with the most, and, like, I changed the color, like, four times on them. Mm-hmm. But the third one's my favorite. I like the last one. He looks so cool. I know. The pose is really familiar to me, and I'm trying to find out why. He's so epic. I think I, I pose it after the frog. I forgot what the frog Pokemon is. It's like... Fro it's not Froppy. That's the My Hero mm -hmm. character. Fro <laughs> it's like Frog Eye or something like that. It reminds me of this little guy. Oh, Abra. No. <laughs> Abra. And then Abra's evolution is like... Um, let me see like that oh <laughs> that's why i was like ah the sitting position oh but look at him i love the power stance just like mm, yeah, getting ready to like beat someone i think it's up. so fun funny because he's like very friendly looking um which is what i wanted to keep throughout the whole thing but most pokemon look meaner as they grow up yeah. so he's just like super buff and like <laughs> smiling but will just like punch you what what do you think are some like moves that this pokemon would know um, as a third evolution, you know? What's its, like, power-up move where it's like, yeah, poof! You know? Um, I don't... Just a punch. That's as far as I got. I don't know Pokemon enough to know, like, full-on moves. That's fair. I think... I don't remember what it's called. It's called, like, Giga Drain or Giga Punch or something. But it's, like, a grass-type move that's also, like... You're just like, poof! And it just drains their energy from them. <laughs> that's fair. So, yeah. I feel like you would also do, um like multiple punches like be able to do multiple hits. yeah look at him his little green toes yeah he gets darker as he goes as well yeah that's kind of one of the things that i did well because i was so limited with the color palette yeah the color palette did kind of limit you a little bit but i mean good theory i think practice. it worked though yeah 
And then the freaking It's got like voice. a little smiley face. Yeah. Like, I kept that in because um it also looks like a mouth guard. Yeah, yeah. I kept it in because, like, Blep has, like, a really... Not, like, chin, but, like, the part that creates his mouth. Like, mm-hmm. like their mouth part. That's what I wanted to keep in. Yes. Was, like, the prominent... I agree. <laughs> it's beautiful. Along with the pink, too. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with... The colors make it look really nice. Yeah, they, there was definitely a lot of, like, lighter colors, though, which was, like, a little bit... The third evolution the does one. look much different than the other two, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, not in a bad way. They just... It is different, you know? Yeah, yeah I, th- I like that you, like, kept the gloves the same, like, mm-hmm. purple color. Yeah. But the way that you switch the colors does kind of, like, change the way that they look. Yeah. You know? But I like them. I like them. I like all of them. I think the first version really looks like just blep, blep yeah. and that's what's perfect about it. Yeah, I definitely just little agree with that. I'm glad I changed it. Yeah, I liked it better than the original one mm. that you did. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. It was super fun to do it. I was I actually had a lot of fun designing it. I might turn more random objects into Pokemon. You should please do please. All right. If you have a Make random a object, yeah, I'll just random objects. Just do like, like everything. <laughs> You're like picking up a blanket nearby and you're like, hmm, <laughs> blanket I can Pokemon. envision this. That would actually be kind of cool. It'd be funny. It'd have it to have smothers colors, its though. enemies. <laughs> like, like, oh. It just like that, goes like, Ooh. Like the carpet in um, Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a big sheet and it just like wraps around you and is like, Bleh. I'm just saying. You could make your ghost a Pokemon. I could. Ghost Pokemon. It'd be nice. Don't they have a ghost Pokemon? No, they have lots of ghosts. It's literally a type. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was gonna ghost say. type Pokemon. There's also a bee Pokemon. Did you know that? Uh, I'm gonna make you into a Pokemon. <laughs> no, there is a ghost one. and bee Pokemon. Pokemon. What's that one Pokemon called? It's like honey something. I think honey. This little oh, guy. Oh, the honeycomb. Combi. Combi, and then you know Combi. it evolves into Beedrill. But like Beedrill. Beedrill scares me a little bit. But yeah. but it's also a nice Pokemon. Alrighty, so I guess that's it for the video. Yeah. Oh, thank you for joining me as my um, only source of Pokemon information. <laughs> I'm all the Pokemon knowledge that you have. Good. I don't even think I brought anything that interesting. I was just like, it looks like this Pokemon. You named more than I could. That's so. fair, yeah. Cool. That's it. All right. Fist bump. Buff. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this video. Um, tell me if you liked it in the comments or just how your day's going. And if you want to help me reach my goal and have your very own dot on the channel mascot, then hit that subscribe button. And if you've already hit it, then maybe share this channel with someone who you think will like it. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!